Hey everybody, welcome back to another Iowa Carver beer review. And today we are doing from the Anchor Brewing Company in San Francisco, California, the Big Leaf Maple Autumn Red. Yeah, so this is obviously a fall beer um, in the American Red style. Um, this is one that Anchor first produced a year ago this time, so, um, we'll, uh, we'll get her cracked up. Well, let's give a little bit of info. I did write some info down on this. This is a 6% ABV. Uh, I don't know what the IBUs is on this. It's not on the label or anything. Um, this is available from August, October. It is very fresh. The hops used are Nelson Sauvin, Citra, and Cascade. Um, so it's kind of like, um, I'm not sure if this is really a, um, just, uh, like a, a red IPA or kind of somewhere in between a red pale and a, you know, we'll have to see. Um, caramel malts are used and of course two row um, multiple caramel malts were used and also this is it's where it gets its name um, big leaf maple there is maple syrup used in the brewing process here as an adjunct so uh, we'll go ahead and get her cracked open Save the cap. Oops. It's the uh, typical anchor cap. Oh boy, it's, it's you've got the windows open, the temps are down into the 50s here it's definitely fall time so let's get a pour on it a nice um, eh. it's a good you know half inch to three quarter inch head it might have but a poured more down the middle probably produce but um, slight amount of lacing not a, not a whole lot heads kind of a oh a off white to a beige I guess tannish color but the beer itself Is a beautiful deep coppery color. With some fine streaming carbonation. Just a pretty beer. Nice ruby tinges on it. <clears throat> I don't know what you would call that as far as it's fairly clear I mean it's a it's not totally opaque for sure I can see my fingers through there so just a nice looking beer let's go ahead and get a smell on it whoa that surprises me I wasn't well I guess I should you know with the hop bill that's in this I do get hops on the grassy hops I don't know if they're necessarily citrus but yeah there's just get some piney and and citrus which really wasn't expecting and uh, sweet malt I'm getting some sweet malt yeah Go ahead and give her, give her a taste here.
well, I, I get more, I get more, a slight bitterness, but I get more hops on the aroma than I do the taste. There's hops there, but I smell them a lot more than I'm tasting them. But I do get a slight bitterness on the back of the tongue as well. But I also get sweet malts, sweet malts. You can definitely picking up those um, caramel uh, malts that were used in this. This is a this is a different beer. I mean, it's somewhere between you know a bitter red and just a plain up red red ale. I don't really, I'll have to be honest, I really don't pick up the, I'm not pulling out maple syrup out of here. Maybe some people do. I, I definitely don't. I know it was brewed with it, but. That's a nice beer. It's something different. Um. It's not your average red ale. Um, you know, you got a slight bittering, um, but you have sweet malts there. That the, the toasted malts and sweet malts with the the caramel, um, you know, that biscuity, bready toasted bread taste. Even on the you know the back of the palate I really I really don't taste the the maple syrup which that's that's fine I mean I'd say it's got a fairly medium mouthfeel and body Nice mouth feel. I mean, it's not thin. Yeah, this this is really a different, really a different um, for me anyway. Out of the reds that I've had, and you know, and I, I it's definitely not a right red IPA. It's somewhere like in between. Um, you know, it's nice. Hey, as far as a food pairing. You know, um, a nice hearty meal. To me, this would be the same as a lot of other reds and, and a, just a nice hearty meal, a steak or, a, you know, a roasted bird with a, or a roast, you know, a pork or a beef roast with, a, you know, roasted vegetables. Excuse me, my mustaches. Um, yeah, I mean, something hearty, you know, um, I think it'd be great. Plus, it... Uh, work well with your sharp cheeses um, you know the cheddars and blues those kind of things so yeah this is uh, from Anchor Brewing in San Francisco one of the oldest breweries in the US has a long long history um, was taken over uh, or was uh, you know basically saved from going out of business in the early to mid 60s by Fritz Maytag of the Maytag appliance um, fame. Um, he he bailed it out. He was a very big uh, fan of the brewery and I guess when he heard you know that they were possibly going to have to shut it down he he put some money into it and so he's this brewery has a big place in the history of craft beers in the United States for sure. So um, I do have another brew of theirs of anchors to do. Uh, one that I've uh, uh, never been able to get, or anchors beers in period, in in general, 
in the past and and I definitely want to do their porter and I want to do the Christmas ale which they do every year so anyway um, if you're I, I really would would I buy this again yeah yeah I probably won't buy any more this year I got it this comes in a six pack has a really cool little shaped bottle um, being a home brewer I'll definitely save these bottles or something different and something to package my own beers in uh, but if you're a fan you're a fan of Reds and, and you've never had this one, definitely give it a try. I think you'll like it. Hey, thanks again for checking out another Iowa Carver beer review, and we'll be back soon.